as a key student loan forgiveness opportunity winds down, Biden administration officials are urging borrowers to apply before the deadline. But millions of borrowers may not realize that the window to apply might be even shorter than it seems. Here's what you need to know. Biden announced the limited PSLF waiver opportunity in October 2021, dramatically broadening access to public service loan forgiveness PSLF, a student loan forgiveness program that can eliminate the federal student loan debt for borrowers who commit to working 10 years or more for nonprofit or. The initiative has seen some success, with Education Secretary Miguel Cardona touting over $8 billion in approved student loan forgiveness so far. But the limited PSLF waiver is scheduled set to end on October 31, 2022, which would revert the PSLF program to its original, stricter eligibility rules. Prior to the waiver, the PSLF program suffered from a dismal approval rate that never eclipsed 3%. Top officials have been urging borrowers to apply for student loan forgiveness under the PSLF waiver by the October 31st deadline. Now through October 31, 2022, you may be able to receive credit for student loan payments that previously did not qualify for PSLF, said the Education Department in one of several tweets last month advertising the program. The problem, however, is that some borrowers must take several steps to qualify for relief under the limited PSLF waiver. Borrowers with full loans and Perkins loans can only qualify for relief under the waiver if they consolidate those loans through the Federal Direct Consolidation Program. This process can take 30 to 60 days, and sometimes longer. Those borrowers must then submit PSLF employment certification forms to confirm their qualifying employment, which can also take some time since the borrower's employer must sign the form.